because you hear there's a Broncos game tomorrow <laughs> night, and it's bringing the national spotlight to Denver, and pro-marijuana advocates are taking advantage using this billboard right near the stadium just put up to get their message out. The electronic sign is demanding that the NFL respect Colorado's recently passed Amendment 64. But their message got, goes much further than just football. They hope all the attention here tomorrow helps them get their word out. Fox 31 Denver's Julie Hayden is live near the billboard with a story new at 9.30. Julie? we well, right here at 17th and Federal, and this is the billboard that we're talking about. And as you said, they put it right next to the stadium. And what they're hoping is, is that all the high-profile nature of the game, the league, and the players leads to a much broader discussion about whether any employer can punish a worker for smoking legal pot. When the game is over and a Denver Bronco football player heads home to relax in Colorado, it's just as legal for the player to use marijuana as it is to grab a beer. And a pro-marijuana group says it's time for the NFL's pot policies to catch up with the new state laws. We don't think the NFL should be punishing any players simply for using marijuana because it has nothing to do with their performance and the NFL is not responsible for policing marijuana. The pro-marijuana group is posting a billboard overlooking Sports Authority Field at mile high, saying the NFL is, quote, driving athletes to drink. If you want to go out and get drunk, you're not going to face any sort of penalties. But if you use marijuana and get caught, you might be suspended for a number of games. You might lose hundreds of thousands of dollars of your salary, and your livelihood is literally being threatened. Fans are mixed. If they want to be able to do it, then I understand there's league rules and all that, but shoot all for it. I don't think you should be punished. I think if you you should be able to smoke marijuana. I disagree with that. I think they should be held to a higher standard. It's an interesting tactic being used. Legal expert Dan Rex says no doubt the billboard will get people talking. And it will spur public debate and that's what they want. And predicts it's when, not if, the NFL changes its marijuana policy. Things do change in the world and things even change in the NFL. But probably not this season. The NFL does say that this policy is part of its collective bargaining agreement with the Players Union, and it has no plans to make any changes. In Denver, Julie Hayden, Fox 31 Denver. Thanks, Julie. And supporters.